Online, I've been getting some conflicting data for which Swamp Cooler pads are better, the blue synthetic Duracool pads or the Aspen pads. So I decided to run a test for myself to find out for sure which one is better. For most of the summer, I've been using these blue Duracool pads. So one day around five o'clock PM, I did a test where the outside air temperature was 88 degrees and the room with the swamp cooler in it was 78.5 degrees. So that's basically a 10 degree difference using these Duracool pads. And when measuring the temperature of the swamp cooler itself, it was getting about 75.3 degrees. So the day after running this test in the morning, I installed some Aspen pads and ran those throughout the day. Okay, so I've put in the Aspen pads. Let's compare. It's currently 93 degrees. I waited until about five o'clock again, so it's the same time of the day. And this day it was even more hot outside it was 93 degrees, so about five degrees hotter than the previous day. But the room temperature with these Aspen pads was 76.1 degrees. So that was more than two degrees cooler than the previous day using the blue synthetic pads, even though it was quite a bit more hot outside. And when I measured the temperature of the swamp cooler, that measured at 70.5 degrees, which is about 20 degrees less than the outside temperature. So yeah, based on these tests, it seems that the Aspen pads do indeed work better than the blue synthetic Duracool pads. I've been using the Aspen pads for the rest of the summer. And on average, I seem to be getting about a five to seven degree difference cooler than with the Duracool pads. Now, I do want to point out that Aspen pads are kind of horrible to work with and the blue synthetic pads are just so much easier to work with and much more convenient. But if you are going for the overall cooler temperature, the Aspen pads are the way to go. And based on some other experiments I've done, I found that the thicker the pad is, the better it works. So if you can get the thicker Aspen pads, that's what you want to do. The pads I'm using are actually not very thick. They're not that great. They're super cheap. I got them all for about $8 at Home Depot. If you can find the specific size at Home Depot or on Amazon, that's what you'll want to do. I'll post some links below so you can find different sizes. You do want to buy the Aspen pads that are the size of your swamp cooler. That's going to help out a bunch. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the link below and I will try my best to answer them. Thanks.